the evidence, many people say, of a person that is spiritual or spirit-filled is that they will have the evidence of the gift of tongues, all right? We as a church here believe that, first of all, every person that accepts Jesus automatically has the Holy Spirit. You cannot be saved without the Holy Spirit. If you are a Christian, you already have God's Spirit living on the inside of you. The gifts of the Spirit come complete. They accompany the person of the Holy Spirit. But with the presence of the Holy Spirit also come the fruit of the Spirit. One set of abilities that God brings through His Spirit deals with our gifts and what we do. Another portion of what He brings deals with His character. And the average Christian spends more time dealing with their gifts than they do with character. In reality, you all, it's not what you do that actually reflects your character, it's who you are. You can be involved in church work and not even be saved. And so the fruit of the Spirit are given to every believer. Every single Christian possesses all of the fruit of the Spirit. You cannot bear the fruit of the Spirit disconnected from the Spirit. It is impossible for you and I to show love and to show peace and to show kindness and to show goodness and to show self-control in and of ourselves. That can only happen when we're connected to God. And you are most of us, watch this, you try to do what you are incapable of doing. That's why it's called the fruit of the Spirit, because the Spirit gives you and I the ability to do what we could not do by ourselves. He says, watch this now, the way that a person can tell you are saved, love one another. If you just take a minute to look at your broken life and look how much God has loved you, and if you could ever show a little bit of what God has shown to you, you could then show the world that you know Christ. Some of y'all in this room, you came here today ready to give up, but God says, I've been too good to you, and I've been too kind to you, and I brought you out of too much for you to go out like this, and in the name of Jesus, the joy that I have is your strength. You can have peace and everybody else will think you're crazy. How many of y'all want to have people think that you are out of your mind because you ain't worried about stuff that they're worried about? I'm choosing to think like Christ and see where he wants to take me. And when you do, that gives you peace. Let not your heart be troubled. What are you worried about? God's got you. Glory and tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Some of you all have been through so much and you thought it was wrong or negative, but it was really built to design inside of you this fortitude of patience.